Hi everyone. So it's December 17th at 10.17 p.m. and I realized I did not post a video. Um, my whole weekend kind of got away from me. I was kind of busy all weekend and now I have a really bad migraine that I actually called out of work tomorrow. So if I'm okay because right now I'm not, I'm just like, I, I feel so weird right now. Um, I did take medicine but you know, if you have migraines, you know, sometimes the medicine just like it helps, but it doesn't help. I can't really stand up. And actually, that was before the medicine. I was, like, shaking and walking into walls because my brain just decided to give up. Um, where was I going with that? I don't know. I can't edit these videos, so I'm just going to ramble, apparently. Um, you might see me wearing the same thing tomorrow because these are my PJs, and I'm dog-sitting somewhere, so I don't have, like, all of my clothes, so... But hopefully my hair will not be like this tomorrow because I don't know what it's doing. Um, so, down to the question. Question is, if I gave you $20,000 and said you had to give it all away, but not in one place, where would you send it to and why? So, I would probably, let me just, off the top of my head, I'm covering my mouth, I'm sorry. Um, Gentle Barn, because they rescue farm animals. And I've been there a few times and I absolutely love it there. And a lot of the times they need like hay or food for the animals. Um, they are non-profit so they sometimes need things like that. So I would love to donate there. Farm Sanctuary in... Well, there's a few of them. But I would donate um, to them as well. They do the same thing. They rescue farm animals. Um, and third one would be Magic Bullet Fund. I volunteer for the Magic Bullet Fund. Um, I've been on pause for a few weeks because my everything's been kind of hectic here. Or here. Like, I'm an entity of some sort. I've had a hectic life <laughs> for the past few weeks, so I put it on hold. Um, but I'm going to start up again soon. Um, so what I do for the Magic Bullet Fund is I'm a case manager. Yeah, case manager. And so when... A family who has a dog or a person who has a dog that has cancer applies to the Magic Bullet Fund. They get screened out from the financial person and then get sent to case managers. We grab a case and we will contact the vet for a medical review. We we'll make sure everything's legit um, because we are a nonprofit, so we have to make sure our money is going to proper places. Uh, we, you know, we will end up screening out some. I think I might have declined one person so far but I don't think it had anything to do with the dog um because sometimes we will decline them if the vet decides to tell us that the dog's not going to survive um and that gets really like that's heartbreaking because I know how that feels but um I think I only declined them because like their vet was not giving us the right paperwork and then they had to go to another vet so we had to decline them at the time so they could reapply later uh, I think I did that like a couple months ago and they did reapply to my knowledge. I just didn't take their case when they came back in. And and then we would um, we calculate how much they need. So if it's chemo, it's one like formula, one Excel formula that we calculate out. If it's surgery, we do the same thing because if they raise money in other places, we just kind of take all of that into consideration. And then um, we will help them. We will put some money into an account for them, kind of not really an account, but in a little like we'll just call it a bucket of money um and then we will help them fundraise to where they need to do as well so they, the reason why i became a case manager now i'm just rambling about magic bullet fund because why not i'll put the link down below if anybody needs it for any reason um they were going to help me with bear when he had cancer before he passed away and i think i forgot how much they were going to help give me and then they were going to raise money um, I didn't use the money that they gave me or that they were going to give me because by the time I had the $7,000, literally, I'm not kidding, like $7,000 that I needed, uh, the tumor grew too big and he was inoperable. So didn't use the money, but I appreciate it and I appreciate them completely of what they do. I think it's super helpful because a lot of dog owners is like they don't know what to do. They don't have the money. They can't raise the money that quickly. A lot of people don't have the money for that. Um, so I asked if I could be a volunteer and I've been a volunteer ever since. I feel like I've been a volunteer over a year now and it just makes me happy being able to help families who need it. So I would donate money there. Um, 
And then I guess something that's like really recent that's happening near my area, if you're in Los Angeles, you know this. If you're in Ventura, you really know this. So Ventura, uh, Santa Barbara, like that area, it's called the Thomas Fire and it's destroying so much. Um, I believe it's taken lives too. I'm not sure how many though. Uh, and I would like to donate to like a relief fund for them. I would love to do that. Um, I actually donated to a few already, but if I had $20,000, I would donate to them as well because this is just a hypothetical question. Um, so those are off the top of my head, pretty much, but yeah, my head hurts, so I'm pretty sure there's more. I just cannot focus right now, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys, and then tomorrow, you might see me wearing the same thing, I just said that, um... There's, there's like two questions I might answer tomorrow. I don't know. There's, uh, where is it? What's your favorite day of the year? Which, I, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite holiday or like a day of the year. So I guess I'll just go with it when I start talking. And the ones that's interesting because as soon as I read it, my mind literally went into like 5,000 different directions is if you had unlimited money and time, what would you do with your life? So many things. But I'm going to narrow it down for that question. <laughs> I'll try anyway. Because um, right now that's, that's what I feel like I don't have. I don't feel like I have money or time, which is super fun. Because every time I have some time, I get a migraine. Anyway. I will see you guys tomorrow, sorry for the late video, and um, I might do like a video between these videos if I feel okay tomorrow or if I feel okay at any time this week um, because I want to kind of do an update of where this channel is going to go for 2018. I might actually do that after Christmas, but um, I know some of my viewers haven't been watching Vlogmas because they like the financial stuff and some of them have commented. And yeah, so I will probably most likely be doing more financial stuff because I have some goals I need to hit in 2018, like paying off that one consolidation loan. So we might go full gazelle for that one as much as possible with all the other goals that I need to do. But I'll do that. I, I'm going to do a budget with me video for sure for January. I mean, I, I already started creating the budget, so I'll go over what my budget looks like and everything like that for January and I'll try to continue what I started basically here. I'll talk more probably financial, um, personal finance stuff, but I'll explain that completely in another video, probably on the 26th or 27th. But yeah. I hope you have a good day, and if anybody else suffers from migraines, I feel you, I love you, you'll get through it. We'll survive, hopefully. We're probably gonna go drink more water. And you have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.